And that's why I love physics so much, because it helps me understand why such beautiful places like Barry Island are formed, which is one of the most tranquil places in South Wales. And there's more. Salford Keys. Oh, it's raining steroids in Manchester again. Oh, it's coming. The end of the world. So I'm off to do something I've always wanted to do. Go to Barry Island and explore the relationship between the moon, Sir Isaac Newton, and the beautiful beach at Barry Island. So here we are on the train and it is absolutely crowded. Gavin and Stacy. Well, I know a lot of people love Gavin and Stacy and this is where a lot of it was filmed. Now I'm standing on beautiful Barry Island Beach and the sand is absolutely lovely. There's lots of lovely cafes and there's a fairground, ship shops and I can understand that's why people love Barry Island so much. And there's more, much more. As I look up at the sky, I'm aware of our nearest star, the sun, 93 million miles away. And at its core, hydrogen gets converted to helium with vast amounts of energy released. And that is what drives our climate. You have to go four light years away to find the next nearest star, Proxima Centauri. It's lovely sunshine. I literally just want to hoover it up. Now, as I look over the main beach at Barry, I can see loads of people running around enjoying the sunshine. And, you know, it's just like as though they are stars and galaxies which comprise the cosmos. There are millions and zillions of them. And it is incredibly beautiful. And now I know why people love Barry Island so much. And now I'm off to do something I've always wanted to do. Build a sandcastle on beautiful Barry Island Beach. Because I want to talk to you about the second law of thermodynamics. You see, things spontaneously go from a state of order to disorder. They spontaneously decay. This is happening all the time. If I was to build a sandcastle, the wind would blow it away. But interestingly, there's nothing in the laws of physics to say that sandcastles can't spontaneously form. But they don't, because it's overwhelmingly more likely that they will decay. So what is the relationship between the moon, Sir Isaac Newton and Barry Island? Well, this is something we'll look at more in part two to help us understand the profound effect the moon has on our planet and Barry Island in particular. And there's more, much more. And that's why I love physics so much because it challenges my mind.